What's up YouTube? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video we'll talk about how to back set or set the 5 or the set the right side. And this video was suggested by Android007. So thank you so much for this video suggestion. Before you continue watching this video on how to back set, make sure you watch the setting fundamentals video because much of what I'll be talking about in this video will be based on the terminology and the techniques in those two videos. And you can find those videos by clicking on the links in the video description below or by clicking on the video link up here. When you're learning how to back set, make sure that you start in a neutral position. A neutral position means that my body is upright, is relaxed, and I'm ready to change the direction of my set at any moment. The neutral position is another word for setting posture and we talked about that in the setting fundamentals video. Notice that when I'm in my neutral position, I'm not leaning forward and I'm not arching my back. I'm staying neutral, body upright, so that I can change the direction at any moment, and also I can exert power upward through the ball more efficiently. The reason why it's important to stay neutral because at the last minute when I'm setting at a higher level, I need to be able to watch the blockers to base who I'm going to set at that time. If I'm over committed to setting the left side attacker or the forward position, like this, and I see the blocker moving in that direction already, I cannot change direction because my center of gravity is forward and my hand position is already committed to setting in front of me. Same thing goes for back setting. If I arch my back and I overcommit to setting behind me, but then I see the blockers moving in that direction, I cannot change direction very easily. Whenever you're back setting, whether that be the 5D or the back one or a slide, it's absolutely imperative that you start from a neutral position. The biggest mistake that people make when they're about to back set is they give it away too early by arching their back. Or they use too much back which is a very inefficient way to exert power when you're setting. Once you establish a good neutral position and your hands are positioned two and two above your head, you're going to make a J motion with your hands. A J motion means I'm going to bring my hands slightly behind me and up at the same time. So this is what it looks like without the ball. When you're setting, make sure that your thumbs are under the ball and that my index fingers are behind the ball. This is what the J motion looks like with the ball. The reason why you need to J the ball is because you need to bring the ball back before it goes up. That initial back motion will help create momentum for the width of the set to make sure it goes all the way to the target. And then your follow through, which is the vertical part of the J, will help create the height. So if you do those two very quickly, you'll both get the width and the height for your back set. Another mistake that people make when they're back setting is they try to set a five like a reverse four. So when you set the four, you're releasing the ball immediately from this angle. If you try to set immediately from here, the ball is going to fall short because you have not given it any lateral movement to bring it behind you. So make sure that you bring it behind before you extend through the ball. I recommend practicing the J motion with the ball first before you start setting. And this is what that drill looks like. And like we talked about for the setting models video, Make sure that you use your legs to help you generate power on the ball. It's okay to lean back to help you follow through your back set, but still majority of my power and my change of direction should be generated by my hands, elbows, shoulders, and my legs. Here are a few drills that you can do on the court to help you get used to practice setting on the net. The first drill is to practice setting without a ball, where I'm starting on the net in my open position, just like we talked about in the setting fundamentals video then hopping and squaring up in one motion and then practicing my J motion. And notice that when I'm back setting the ball, I'm trying to use my legs for a lot of the power and then my hands to change direction. Once you feel comfortable doing without the ball, you're going to start in your open stance with the ball down here, 
Square up. And then you're going to perform your back setting motion. After you feel comfortable doing it with the ball in your hand, then you're gonna have someone toss the ball to you like someone's passing, and you're gonna wait for the ball in a squared position. Start in your open stance, then when they're about to toss the ball, you're gonna square up, receive the ball over your shoulder, catch it to make sure that you can catch it two and two in a neutral position, and then release the ball behind you. The reason why it's important to learn how to catch it first is to make sure that your body is neutral and that your hands are even. The last drill is the same one as before except you're actually going to set it instead of catching it. And make sure you meet the ball a few inches away from your head. You don't want to wait to catch it before you set it, otherwise it will be considered a lift. A good height for a back set is 2-3 to three antenna heights above the net. An antenna height is measuring from the top of the net to the top of the antenna. And that's what I consider one antenna height. Make sure that when you're back setting, it's the exact same thing as your front setting. You still want to make sure that you freeze to your target and then you hold position for accuracy. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.